me to talk about how to hit the high forehand. And one of the keys is going to be when you make impact racks like this. Okay. And the biggest problem you have with the high forehand. the wrist above the elbow is make sure you make impact go all the way through the shot have your full follow through and after you're in swing you can follow through over top i'd be finding out when you follow through like this it comes out a lot better other key too is that when you're hitting <clears throat> you pretend like you have a straight rod so you're you're there is no movement of the arm so you sit up you turn you set then you come to your motion your hand makes impact and you accelerate the hand through your shot to your target. Now, the rest of it, the follow through, this follow through is very important because by going, by going over the top like this, you um, accelerate the racket head through contact. A lot of people, they accelerate right in front and they stop. You need to accelerate the racket head through contact and go all the way over the top. That one part spin in the ball, increases speed. And now the other question is, people are like, well, I'm not very strong up here. And what I do is, I'll just do um, the cable pull where you have the cable and you pull this way, I will pull, I will use my body to turn and pull, now I have my hand release. So I'm doing cable pull, on, and the, on the pull, you, you have the cable at the highest level, you pull, so you turn right here, and then you have your hand go forward. Then you have the cable middle of the pole, about here, you do the same thing. And that way your hand gets used to going in this pathway, you turn, and have your pull, hand pull. Turn and have a pull. The cable pull is the one where it's just a cable to a pulley system and it goes to a weight, and you're doing a cable pull and pulling your hand through the shot. And I also do it for backhand. It really, it's really helped my backhand. I go low, I go middle, and I go high. High coming down so that it works on my backhand slam. Okay? So that's a strength training exercise that you're going to do to make your shot work. The biggest problem you're going to have is when you see your shot, if your shot goes into the net, you're coming down too much. That may mean, because if you're, there's a tendency to do this, you flip the hand down. You have to make sure your hand goes through the shot, to your contact point, all the way forward. And you'll see it when I hit, I'll strike the ball, I hand it forward, I come over the top. So it'll look like this. And that's how you hit the high forehand. Ideally, you would like to hit the ball here. And, or be, be below your knees, but if you have to hit the shot. Like you'll see me, like they'll send a high ball and they'll bounce and a lot of people like to back up. And I don't like to back up because it gives away too much court positioning. Because if you back up, say I take four steps back, I open the hole in front of the court, I open up the short angle, I open up the drop shot. So what I like to do is I like stand on my ground, make impact, and I just push the ball back deep with spin. That's why a lot of people when I play, You'll see me, I'll play, I'll hit a deep loop to someone and I'll come in behind it because the deep loop approach shot is a very difficult shot to hit low when someone's at net. And it's even hard if I push you back. If you end up beyond the baseline, then you have no angle, and I push you back, it'll be very difficult for you to hit a very passive shot. And that's what we're going to talk about in the high forehand. So the four high forehand, wrist above your elbow, try to, catch up, try to stay stationary, transfer weight, unit turn, like there's a pole. The weight train exercise is a, is a cable pull. We're pulling in the cable. You turn your body and have the hand release. And lastly, tactically, you can use the high approach shot to come to net to force someone to hit a high forehand.